Mr. Beaupont, it's about a well-known playwright and composer who loses his wife mysteriously and tragically, and so he goes into hiding and basically turns into a hermit. Until one day he gets an anonymous letter saying this person writing the letter has some evidence as to her whereabouts, and that this person is willing to give up this evidence if Mr. Belpond will again write and compose a new masterpiece. When he gets this letter, he feels a hint of hope. What I was kind of going for is this underlying pretty serious story where it's about a man that's grieving, yet we kind of approach it at a more lighthearted, quirky, fast-paced and funny sort of way. We had probably over 40 students working on the film at one time. No emotion, Ray. And my wife basically had to come in, step in as the production designer three days before we were shooting, which was a huge, huge task to take on. I talked to the director a lot about how he wanted a lot of layers, a lot of contrast, and a lot of texture. I took that a step further, trying to just pile on the layers and just make it feel kind of like Mr. Belpond was enclosed into this den that he hadn't left in 20 some odd years. Every object on the set of Mr. Belpond was brought onto the set. There were thousands of objects that we used. We even checked out maybe 400 books from the BYU library, and we chose the most antique and old-looking books. So many students came together to help on this project. I made sure that every student was creatively involved and could take part in telling the story. What we ended up shooting, I feel like, was a really great collaboration from all the students. I'm so proud of how this actually turned out because there were so many ways that it could have gone wrong, but because so many people offered their time and talents and resources, we were able to create something that I'm proud of as a production designer and also as the wife of the director. It's a huge honor to be a part of the BYU film program. BYU filmmakers definitely have a story to tell, and I think that's where a lot of success is coming from. Winning a college television award was really unexpected and just feels amazing. I mean, it's, it's kind of like the dream of any filmmaker. It's just validated all of the hard work. Everyone worked so hard to pull this project together. Being recognized as best director gives me quite a bit more confidence as a filmmaker and more drive to, to tell the stories I want to tell. Action. I've got a lot of personal connection to the story and to the character of Mr. Belpont. I think primarily because Action. in 2006, my father passed away. And I think that's my biggest connection to just understanding the grieving process and how Mr. Belpont might feel. And to me, what's been an important part of that grieving process is not dwelling on it not locking myself away in a home for 23 years, but kind of stepping out and moving on. Mr. Belpond overall is a message of hope.